Hi everyone, Ainsley here from Small Fry Creations and this week I'm going to show you how you can reseal your driveway and turn it from this to this. Let me show you how we did it. We are back outdoors today and our goal is to reseal our driveway but our first step in the process is we need to power wash the driveway. So let's get to work. While I pressure wash the driveway, allow me to tell you how we got to resealing the driveway ourselves. We'd gotten a quote from a tradesman to reseal the driveway, which was $750. This didn't include pressure washing the driveway, we would need to do this ourselves beforehand. We were asked to go to the supplier to pick a colour, which we did. Once we picked a colour, the man in the shop said I'd grab you a 20 litre tin. We explained we had someone else doing it and we left the shop. Discussing with the better half on the way home that the man had given us a funny look when we had told him that someone else was doing it, we decided to give him a call back and ask how hard it would be to do ourselves. He explained that if we had any DIY sense or were happy to give it a go, we would be fine. I also asked how much it would cost for everything from brushes to rollers to paint. He said $220. So I turned the car around and went and picked up the supplies. It's been a week since we last power washed the driveway and the reason why we're doing it in two sets is because unless you're a genius, you're probably gonna miss some spots because the driveway gets wet and it becomes hard to see exactly where you have and haven't cleaned. So I'm gonna go through again with the deck attachment this time and give it a really good scrub and last clean before tomorrow morning we can get down to business and start to seal the driveway. So we'll get this connected and let's get to work. After power washing, it was time to tape up the areas around the house that required tape and it was time to reseal. Today is the day we are going to get to resealing the driveway. We're going to use this guy on the plain concrete down the front and then we're going to tint the 20 litres for the rest of the driveway. We've got our lamb's wool roller which is what we've been suggested to use. We've got our paintbrush for cutting in. We've got sticks for making the job a little bit easier. And I also picked myself up a stirring stick just to help to mix the big guy. So I say let's get mixing and let's get to work. Now the 4 litre was easy to mix, however when it came to the 20 litre it was another story. Once we added the tint to the tub, it was filled to the brim. If I had used the stirrer with the drill, it would have gone everywhere. Instead, I got a scrap stick of plywood and mixed slowly for about 10 minutes. The rollers we were supplied from the paint shop are the right size to just dip straight into the bucket, but because of how full the bucket was, this was impossible for the first part of the driveway. To get around this, I ladled the paint into a paint tray until it was down to a level where I could just dip the roller into the bucket. Given the paint is oil-based, we wore gloves and put the paint on a tarp. This just helps with cleanup. We also started around the back of the house so that we could get a hang of it. It's a breeze to apply and the coverage is amazing. When getting around to the main part of the driveway, we needed to have a plan on where and when to paint so we didn't paint ourselves into a corner. When it came to the clear seal on the front section of the driveway, this went on a little differently. It would go on and not really change colour for a minute or two. Then it would go dark, so at times it was hard to see where you had painted and not. Coat one is done and it's taken us about an hour and we've let it dry for a couple of hours and we're up to coat two. So this is a project that can be definitely done in one day. A couple of things that we have learnt so far. We have tried two different types of rollers. This particular roller we picked up from Bunnings and this particular roller was given to us at the supplier who sold us the concrete sealer. The lamb's wool roller is a thousand times better than this roller which is meant for concreting. Uh, but I definitely suggest picking up a lamb's wool roller if you can. The other thing is in between coats, just glad wrap the rollers. That just saves you from cleaning it. It's much, much easier. Cutting in was definitely helpful and necessary and masking up around the house also helped. The tin that the concrete sealer comes in is very, very full. So we had to offload some of it into a paint tray at the very beginning. Then once it gets down lower, you can actually just dip the roller straight in because it's not as the consistency is not as thick as normal paint. So you can easily just dip, dip in the roller and then keep rolling and away you go. So we're now up to coat two. 
That should be done in the next hour or so and then we're done for the day and we can wrap up this project. I also just want to show you, so this is after one coat and you can see through here it's a little bit patchy. So we're hoping once we get through that second coat it will be much, much more even. It's only happened on the clear, not on the grey. The grey is totally fine but with the clear it's a little bit patchy so we're hoping the second coat will fix that up. The main part of the driveway wasn't patchy but in parts you could kind of see the roller marks. On the second coat, I made sure to go in the opposite direction to what I did on the first coat. Now, I will give you some quick facts about the driveway resealing. The paint dries within an hour depending on the temperature. The instructions say not to drive on the driveway for five days, but we left it for seven days just in case. In the video, I show applying two coats, which was enough for the driveway. However, we had enough in the bucket for a third coat on the main part of the driveway, so we did it just so we didn't waste the paint. A driveway is meant to be resealed every couple of years, which I didn't know before starting this project. So for a couple of hundred dollars and a day's work, we are thinking we'll do it every 12 months so it stays new and fresh. Overall, this is a super easy DIY project and can add value and appeal to any house with just a day's work. The last task for the day was to block off the driveway so the postie and the delivery drivers didn't ruin the hard work and we removed all the tape around the house. Then it was time to let it sit and cure for seven days. We're wrapping up this project and it's been seven days since we sealed the driveway and we've just given it a light hose down before we park the cars on it and you can see that the sealer is doing its job because the water is sitting on top so it's no longer penetrating through the concrete. We're very, very happy with how the project has turned out. I hope you have liked this video. If you have, help me out by hitting those subscribe and like buttons and I'll see you on the next one.